Today I've got a special treat for you. I will be looking at some of the best free games that haven't made its way to Steam yet. Sure, this is not a definitive list, and I may have missed some great games. There are a ton of incredible games that may have flown under the radar. But these 10 games are some of the best and I feel they deserve to be on a list like this one. Also, since you probably clicked on this video for games you haven't heard of yet, I'll be disqualifying some well-known Blizzard titles like League of Legends, Heroes of the Storm and Hearthstone, and all World of games like World of Tanks. With that out of the way, I present to you top 10 free games not on Steam. In no particular order, since there are many different genres on the list and different people like different things. We'll start with Deltarune. It is a free experience made by the creator of Undertale, and it uses many similar ideas like it. It is around 2 hours long, but that's just the first chapter. The second one is still in the works. It works as a sort of a demo, really, but it is so good that it just had to be on the list. If you liked Undertale, you'll like this one as well. The characters and writing are what make this game. It will make you laugh, it will make you cry. If you like top-down RPGs and would like to see some innovative mechanics, look no further. This is a game for you. Maybe that doesn't grab your attention. You'd like something more meta. How about Pokemon MMO? It is, as its title says, a Pokemon MMO. Unofficial, of course, but it is on PC and you can play it for free. It is pretty old being released in 2012, but it's constantly updated and still very popular to this day, even having its own subreddit. Their motto is no bullshit, just games, and that's exactly what you can expect. If you like Pokemon, what are you waiting for? Jump into this wonderful multiplayer experience immediately. Don't like Pokemon? How about a card game? Are you for a round of Gwent? If you are familiar with the world of Witcher 3, I presume you can't refuse. It is one of the most unique card games you'll play, as rules are much different than most card games out there, most of which copy Hearthstone. The game consists of three rounds, two of which you need to win in order to beat your opponent. You win by having more points than your opponent. And that's a very simplified version of it, really. It's a very complex game and I've invested over 150 hours into it already. Though I will warn you, the full release is much different than the beta versions, which I enjoyed a lot more. The game is constantly updated and improved though, and you won't regret diving into it if you're into card games. That's not the case? How about to tell you a little secret? You can play an all-time classic StarCraft 2 for completely free. If you haven't heard of it yet, shame on you. It's one of the most detailed and respected real-time strategies out there, and every strategy nerd is sure to want to play it. Sure, I said that I won't be including games that most people know about, but I feel StarCraft has been under the radar in the recent years. And it's about time it gets back on the map. It won many Game of the Year awards when it was released, and the game still holds really well, even today, 8 years after its release. Whenever it's single player or multiplayer, you won't regret diving into this strategy giant. Strategies aren't your thing? You'd rather play a shooter? Maybe you'd like to play the newest entry in one of the most respected and glorified FPS genres. Unreal Tournament is here just for you, now available in the Epic Store. Sure, it is still in alpha and it could be more popular than it is, but at its core, this is still Unreal Tournament in all its glory and you can play it com for completely free. What a bargain! Even if you dislike Epic Games, don't let the hate stop you from having fun in this game because it clearly deserves it. It doesn't get more classic than this, and it will certainly bring back nostalgia if you played any of the previous titles. To players that haven't experienced it before, I let the footage speak itself. The absolute madness this game brings isn't easily describable. Alright, we're halfway there, and we've had many amazing multiplayer titles. Time for a single player visual now. The Doll Shop is a horror story set in Japan. While it's only an hour long, it features several endings that will keep you entertained for some time. I'll just say that it's beautifully drawn. It's actually hand painted in watercolors by students in just three days. It is set in a rural village, devastated in tragedy and hit with endless snow. I don't want to spoil anything, so I won't give out any more details. 
But this short story is certainly worth your time if you like simple stories or visual novels. Maybe that's just not for you. Could I interest you in an award-winning game then? Spelunky is a very popular roguelike platform that won many awards during its release in 2013. While you can't get the game I'm talking about for free, you can get an older version. Spelunky is a HD reboot of a game I'm talking about, Spelunky Classic. It's an original freeware version that will always be free. Maybe it's not that great or good looking as its HD version, but you still get an incredible experience with the classic version. You can also add co-op to it with mods. It still looks and plays good to this day and if you can't afford the HD version, don't be shy to check this one out. Would you like to be a king? People are obeying to your every command? Do you like consequences and managing your resources? Sword the Court is a game that became popular in 2016, when many very popular YouTubers like Markpoint and Jacksepticeye were playing it. It is a very simple game. The only interaction in the game is answering yes or no questions to people that come to your court and making choices based on what they have to offer. Simplicity is sometimes gold, and that is sort of the case for this game. If you like what you see, give it a try. That too simple? Well, okay, I'll give you something complicated then. Introducing Mindustry, a sandbox tower defense game with a big focus on base building. It is much more complex than your regular tower defense games. You'll be building drills, linking conveyors belts. Even natural environment can be exploited for your own gain. It also has a level editor and you can play it with friends, locally or online. It takes a simple formula and expands on it greatly. A true characteristic of a great game. And for our last game we have a banger. Don't you have a Nintendo system and you want to play Smash? Well now you can! Super Smash Bros. Crusade is an unofficial version of SSB that features a huge roster of almost 60 characters, many very memorable stages and more. It was created by diehard Smash fans with the goal of creating a version that combines all the best features of previous titles into one. Many fan requested characters are here, like Shadow or Phoenix Wright, along with all other classic characters. It's Super Smash, it has everything a Super Smash game needs to have, and if you're craving for some Smash action, look no further. You won't find a better Super Smash experience on PC. And with that, we've come to an end. Thank you all so much for watching. I always experiment with the style of making my top 10s and any feedback is appreciated. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more similar content. Calbron signing out.